The GM Highwire is one of the most significant concept cars of the early 21st century. It represented General Motors' attempt to rethink the automobile from the ground up, combining hydrogen fuel cell power with drive-by-wire electronic controls. First shown in 2003, the Highwire evolved directly from the GM autonomy concept revealed at the 2002 Detroit Motor Show. While autonomy demonstrated the idea of separating the car's mechanical systems from its passenger space, the Highwire proved that this idea could be practical and drivable. The core of the Highwire is its skateboard chassis. This platform is just 11 inches thick and houses all propulsion and control systems. The hydrogen tanks are located at the center, the fuel cell stack sits at the rear, and the electric motor is positioned between the front wheels. This layout leaves the upper structure free for almost any body design. Only 10 mounting points and a single electrical connector attach the body to the chassis. GM hoped this would allow future cars to have interchangeable bodies on long-lasting mechanical platforms. The fuel cell system generates electricity by combining hydrogen with oxygen, producing only water vapor as exhaust. In continuous operation, the system produced around 126 horsepower, with peaks up to about 173. The gas is stored in composite tanks at roughly 350 bar, with plans to increase capacity to 700 bar for longer driving ranges. The lack of a conventional engine also lowered the vehicle's center of gravity and opened up the cabin space. Drive-by-wire technology replaced mechanical linkages for steering, braking, and acceleration. The driver controlled the vehicle using a butterfly-style hand yoke with twisting and sliding movements replacing pedals and a steering wheel. This allowed the controls to slide from left to right in seconds, enabling instant conversion between left and right-hand drive layouts. Inside, the cabin was open, bright, and spacious, with glass panels at the front and rear that allowed passengers to see the road beneath and ahead. Seating was arranged for five, and the design emphasized clean space rather than traditional dashboard complexity. However, the high wire never reached production. Hydrogen infrastructure remains limited and expensive. Fuel cell stacks also cost far more than conventional engines. Although the idea of modular automobile platforms and electronic control systems continues to influence vehicle design today, mass hydrogen-powered cars are still rare. Even so, the GM Highwire remains an important milestone. It demonstrated how drastically automotive architecture could change when freed from combustion engines and mechanical linkages. It did not reinvent the car overnight, but it provided a clear, functioning vision of what the future could become.